Hello and welcome to Coffee with Coaches brought to you by Tim Hortons. I'm Corey LeBlanc of St. Avex Athletics and for the inaugural Coffee with Coaches I'm with St. Avex head coach X-Men football in his sixth season Gary Waterman and thanks for joining us Gary. I know it's a busy time with camp in full swing. Um, I guess we'll start with that. How has camp gone so far? Oh it's been a fantastic camp Corey. I, I can't tell you uh, how pleased I've been with the effort of the guys and their compete level. Uh, we had a couple of objectives of starting camp in terms of getting our kids uh, really uh, playing at a high level early. Uh, we had some a new offensive coordinator and we had to make uh, make sure we got our, our, our uh, system installed and uh, we wanted a compete level. We did a lot of things to kind of ensure we got some competition and it was really, we scored some things and it was really neat to see how they kind of, they, they jumped on that and really uh, ran with it. So of course, uh, three sides of the ball you focus on. I know there's a lot in camp, but uh, let's look at the offense. And you touched on with a new uh, offensive coordinator and former X-Men quarterback, Steve Snyder. I guess talk a little bit about his addition and then where the offense is going as you look at the start of the season. Well, I've known Steve for a while. I've had the pleasure and opportunity to coach him uh, back in when I was here. When I first started as a D coordinator, he was on the team. And then when I took over as head coach, he I was the offensive coordinator, he was a quarterback, and I mean, from the get-go, he really ran with the offense. He uh, took pride in it, he became a great leader, uh, had a great year himself, and then went on, and I, I always stayed in touch and followed his, uh, his career, and he played in Germany, and had a great career in Germany, and, and then ended up at the University of Windsor, and he was doing some uh, coaching special teams and, and working with the recruiting, and, and I just followed the work he was doing, and I thought it was fantastic. And, you know, he was a guy that, uh, you know, if I, I knew if I had an opportunity or an opening, he would be one of the guys I would want to bring and bring to my staff and work with. And uh, I knew he's uh, full of energy, passionate about football, uh, great young mind, um, you know, thinks outside the box and creative. And uh, everything I knew about him, I thought I knew about him, has proven to be true, and it's been fantastic. And our offense has looked pretty good. What does he bring to the table? Uh, a lot, but in terms of being a former quarterback, how is that going to help your uh, all your quarterbacks? But you, of course, have the two young returnees in Tavon Cook and Dante Jan. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, being an uh, OC and a quarterback and really understanding progression, understanding the, I guess, the mental makeup of that position and understanding how to help someone along. I mean, we have Donnie Davis, who does a great job with the quarterbacks. And, but Steve is just another person there. I mean, he's so passionate, and he's such a great teacher of the, of the sport, and he's a great teacher of quarterback play that I think it's, you can see our guys getting better. Uh, you know, we, as you mentioned, we have two, two returning guys who we like both of them, and Dante John and, and uh, Tavon Cook. And they both had t game time last year. And they both showed some different skill sets, but they're really, they put a lot of work in, in the off season, which has been great to see. They've come back ready to go. They're energized and excited because we have a new offensive coordinator. They love the things he's doing. They love the way he teaches and interacts with them. So I, I just see them con will continue to get better throughout the course of the, the camp and the season. And you have some pieces to work with. Of course, you have Ashton Dixon, the veteran in the backfield, and some of your returnees in the receiving core, although, uh, Devon Bailey, of course, has moved on to the CFL with the Edmonton Eskimos. So the skill positions also offer some comfort to your quarterbacks as well. Yeah, we've been really blessed and, you know, we've done some good work in recruitment and, and we're able to get some skilled players. We still have, the, you mentioned some of the guys, we still have some of them left and remaining. And Ashton Dixon, I believe, is one of the premier backs in the country. Uh, I'm so excited for him this season. He's worked so hard and he's coming off the East-West and he looks great out there. I think he's going to have a great year. Uh, and then, of course, Jordan Catterall, another kid who's, you know, just explosive. Uh, and, you know, we're happy to see him running around out there. And we've got a number of other guys. Randy Roseway, wow, that guy's pretty fast. So we've got a number, number of people that uh, we love what they're able to bring to the table. And we brought in some young kids who we like a lot. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just the competition's high. And, and that's a position of comfort, our skill position. And you mentioned Jordan Catterall, of course, was lost for you during the season last year. So he's going to be ready to go to start the season. Yeah, I mean, Jordan, uh, you know, he's 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 a hard worker uh, from the moment he got his injury. He, you know, he got a surgery and he started the rehab and, you know, he's been moving around quite well. And really with anybody who gets an injury, the biggest thing is a psychological hurdle. But I mean, he, he's ready to go physically. 
uh, we'll hold him out of this exhibition game uh, and we'll just kind of integrate him slowly in the week and you know we expect him to get back to the level he was playing at before he uh, got hurt. And with all those uh, I guess quote unquote skill positions uh, a lot of people forget none of it works without the offensive line and two years ago you had a ton of injuries on the offensive line last year kind of a work in progress but I know you're pleased with what you have coming back and some of the additions you've made. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you mentioned it. I mean, you know, the offensive line is, the, you know, the most critical part of your, your offense, and you could argue your team. Um, you know, we, we had struggled through some injuries, and we had some young guys that got in there probably a little bit before we wanted them to get in there. They learned, had to learn the tough way on the fly. But it's really, it's really pleasing to see the work that they've done and, and see how they're progressing. And as they mature and, old, and get older, that they start to come into their own. And usually that position takes, you know, they say about three years before you really kind of start to come into your own. Out of high school, you're, you're probably not strong enough. And, you know, everything's going at a faster pace, so it's a big adjustment. And then the next year you used to kind of get a little stronger and it starts to slow down for you. And then by that third year, you've put enough time in the weight room you've seen enough you should start to come into your own and we're seeing that with a lot of our guys so that's the great thing about it they've been doing a great job i mean we've got an experienced o-line coach and coaches and sam moreau and who's been around the aus for a number of years and a former player himself and of course bob howes who's the legend in the cfl and uh, so we've got a lot of experience and they're doing a great job with the o-line and to see them come into their own is pretty pleasing turn to the defensive side the ball of course um, some losses in the likes of, of Brett Hubbard, Sam the Adoretti, uh, but it's awfully nice too to have an All-Canadian and AUS Defense of the Year back in Ron O'Mara and, and an experienced secondary as well. So talk a little bit about the defense and, and where that focus is going to be. Yeah, we're, I can't tell you, I mean, Ron, having Ron back says a lot. I mean, as you mentioned, Ron has got such presence. Uh, what a quality individual. Uh, you know, he's a, a tremendous athlete and and he definitely is a, a noticeable guy on the field and, and his impact player. So having him back solidifies some things in our, sec in our, in our linebacking core. Uh, we do have some, some guys back in the secondary with a lot of experience and, and they're great athletes. So we like our back end. We think that uh, we've got some speed and, and we've got some, some athletic ability back there. Our biggest challenge was really trying to build up our defensive line. And, you know, we were thin at times last year and a few injuries we sustained really put us in a hole. So we really worked hard and to bring, you know, to, to recruit some kids that could add some depth and, and push some of our guys that were returning. So first and foremost, the guys that were returning came back in great shape. They, they did everything we asked them to do in the, off, in the off season, which is just work hard and get better. And they did that. They got stronger. So they look great. And then we have our young guys that are here and they are unbelievable. Uh, there's some talented players there. And they, I mean, I think that's gone from a position of, you know, questionable weakness to a position of strength uh, o over the off season. Another, uh, something like the offensive line, a forgotten aspect by, by many fans of special teams. So um, a key, of course, field position so important uh, in any football game, but in the AUS as well. So talk a little bit, I guess, both about your kicking game and your return game. Yeah, I mean, we, we I mean, our first team, first team meeting, I mean, special teams charts went up, field position, you know, uh, charts went up and statistics of scoring and field position. We wanted to emphasize from the get go how important that, that, that part of the game was. Uh, you know, most kids, you know, they tend to think they're a starter on offense or defense. Well, we're starting. You can be a starter on specials. Uh, and that's how we want them to see it. If you're on a special, you're starting. That's, that's just as important as anywhere. So all our guys know it. It's important. I'm coaching special teams because I believe it's important. And I get a chance to operate with or work with all the, both sides of the ball. So I like doing that. Um, you know, we have some, we've had some great returning, returners in Jordan Catterall, Randy Roseway. Paulo Edwards, Demetrius Ferguson, all these guys have explosive ability. They can, they have the potential to, to take one all the way at any given time. And of course, uh, you know, uh, the kicking game is, 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 is huge. And, uh, you know, we have a healthy battle going on. We've got the returner, Jeremy Ford, who did a great job out of Citadel kid. And then we got brought a, a nice young kid in here from Ontario who's got a live leg and who's really pushing him. And of course, we got Hayden Peters back who, you know, did some, some spot duty. He's such a good player at his other position that uh, you know it's not a, it's not a case where we act, absolutely have to put him in but he does he's very capable of doing it so you know we're excited to have him and so we've got a lot of options there too uh, throughout this you've touched someone on some of your uh, newcomers coming in so of course recruiting so important no matter what you have on hand from last year's team uh, 
are you pleased with how recruiting went and maybe who are some of the key people you've brought in that you expect to make an impact uh, right off the bat? Yeah, we're absolutely uh, uh, pleased with our recruiting. You know, they, they have uh, some, I guess, rankings, so to speak, that are out there. Uh, we were the 12th best uh, ranked uh, uh, recruiting class coming in Ontario, I mean, in Canada this year for the CIS. And, um, you know, we were the top AUS school. So we feel like we, we did some good work there. Um, you know, we, we targeted some kids with specific positions to add depth. Uh, we got those kids. Uh, of course, you don't never get every 100% mm. of the kids you want, but we feel like we got a great percentage of the kids we actually really wanted. And, um, you know, they are showing to be everything we thought they were in camp. And there's a few kids that are going to surprise a few people this year. And, and uh, you know, I think they're going to be able to help us. You've touched on... Uh the coaching staff, of course, Steve coming in, uh, Bob Howes and Sam Rowe, some veterans there. Of course, Bob Mullen back. I would say the two Bobs are back. Yeah. Uh, veteran coaches, but they were somewhat rookies last year to this program. So obviously now back for their second year and they enjoyed it so much here. Uh, how's that coming together in terms of your staff? You seem like you're really happy where that is and, and what sort of impact it can have on the program. Well, yeah, like you mentioned, I mean, they had tremendous experience and, and, and pedigree, but, you know, they were coming into a new situation last year, so they had to make the adjustment, you know, coming back to the CIS, coming to the AUS, uh, and, and, you know, they would admit themselves that it was just, you know, it was getting used to, uh, you know, how things are done around here. So, uh, but, you know, they're great people. Uh, they fit in very well and they're hard workers and you know we're starting to see all that experience starting to come forward now and they're comfortable they love they absolutely love it here they love the community they love they love everything that we're doing so they're really adding some experience uh and some uh, some wisdom to to the whole entire staff and we're all benefiting from it taking injuries out of the equation uh, obviously you can't control that but um if we're looking in a couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks, uh, heading, of course, the goal is the playoffs and a, and a AUS championship. But if things fall into place well, uh, what's this team going to look like and what are some of the keys going to be to having a successful season, a playoff season? Yeah, I mean, like you said, the injuries are always a factor. You know, you, you try to stay relatively healthy. you got to continue to develop that those guys are not starting and continue to have them believe that the, to stay ready, how important that is. Uh, and so that's really important. And for us, I mean, you know, the key is always a successful football team is, you know, uh, winning the field position battle, you know, winning the turnover battle, uh, you know, staying, you know, penalty, you know, penalty free as much as you can and not beating yourself, really. I mean, you know, they, a lot of people joke, more people lose games than win games. And really, you've got to stay health, healthy and you've got to do the right things and, and, and stay even keel. And as a, when we were going through the growing pains of our younger team, you could see the ups and downs emotionally of the team when things were high, were really high, things were low, they're really low. So we talk a lot about that equilibrium, that balance we want to get with our guys, keeping that, that even keel, uh, you know, and just getting ready for the next play. So I think it's important for us to play well in the line of scrimmage on both sides and to make sure we protect the football and, and, and really uh, stay together. And that's, that, that's important for us. And um, when you're here at Olden Stadium and all over the place, of course, with St. Vex alumni, where it's Mount Air and Halifax, uh, let's wind down maybe. Talk a little bit about the fans and the support this program, this team gets, and how much it not only means to you, I know as a former player and alumni here, uh, but to all the coaches, all the players that have that sort of support you get here from the blue and white fans. Yeah, I mean, the passion about surrounding, you know, all athletics at St. Avex and particular football, because that's my area, is, is unmatched, I believe. And the community support that I get is tremendous. And, you know, for my family being in the community, my kids, we absolutely love everything about what we're doing and where we're at. And really, it's just neat to see how engaged people are and how much they care about it. And they know a lot more than, than you think. And uh, they follow the guys and they're aware of the team. So our, 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 uh, I talk to our guys all the time about that. I said, you, you know, we had a, our first annual uh, freshman barbecue. Uh, never done that before. At, uh, we, you know, we had 40 uh, new freshmen come into camp and we wanted to welcome them. So we took them to one of our alumni's house and we just kind of, you know, had them see the ocean. And, uh, you know, we just 
just spent some time together and really you know had them see the atmosphere and how beautiful it was and they really loved it and that's how we wanted to introduce them to the community and uh, you know they got uh, they just, they really got a chance to appreciate what this is all about. So the fan support's been great, uh, and you know when we go on the road and, and and people are there, you know we often have a, you know a, a huge crowd and and it's definitely when we're at home it's a big crowd and so we, we we really appreciate that. So any predictions on the season? Well, I'm not in for predictions. Uh, you know I, I think we just have to play you know the next play and play every down hard. If we can get our kids to do that, I feel real confident we're gonna have a really good year. And, uh, you know, it's uh, this people have to wait and see how things go. So we'll say cheers to a Tim Hortons coffee and a great season for the X-Men. And don't forget, folks, pick up Canada's favorite coffee, Tim Hortons, at your local outlet for coffee with the coaches. Brought to you by Tim Hortons with Gary Waterman, head coach of the St. of X-Men. I'm Corey LeBlanc. See you again.